NFTs and all my crypto is green. Srihini, what do you think are the main challenges that artists working in digital media face today with all these new technologies coming in and how to overcome it? I think that today we talk a lot about art as art and art for art without understanding this for art and we are somehow like lack this communication of research of like functionality and other things and i think this is like what we lack most as artists to like research things a lot today to research the visual world the artistic world or, or other world and that's how the main challenge today it doesn't matter if you're working digital or analog it really is about researching the social media or the social life or the science or something else and uh, i think this is something that we must build on so your art you would say that your art is based a lot on this research right that you do beforehand before creating any collection i think for my art and like design is actually what most important is the research i do 95% of research and then like we have some kind of an execution or like bringing up the subject or the object at the end of the day but i think that if you look at my project it's mostly about researching it doesn't matter if actually what kind of team is i like I focus myself a couple of months on doing some kind of a research on this theme and then I go to the conclusions and like always starting with some kind of mind maps and mood boards and yeah so it's always about that Where do you find inspiration? I must say it's really different. I really get inspiration from talking with people and then I just really I think that for my some kind of a plan of work is that I get a team, I get a subject and then i'm just like okay i'm going on a drink or something i don't really i don't really like mind about the project but like i i focus on my ma- letting my mind to work and process and somehow at the end of the day i'm like okay i can do this and focus on that yeah i think that's the one one thing and the other is history of art definitely i'm i really love history of art and and what has happened through and the processes that went we went through to building this today's contemporary art kids listening and for for college kids who want to who want to get into web3 what would your advice be for them i think that they should actually focus not on their style but actually what it is on the end of the day what is the result what can we make what can people get from it and it's not just some kind of an illustration and we build a thousand illustrations but it's both about what is it in illustration say to the others who are actually looking at it so it's more for focus on on like research and focus on the message or the storytelling for your collection it's more the art that is related to the design so what are the ways that these can help maybe in terms of some utility for the design what we were actually focusing when we were building the nfts is we are we created the, a set of modular elements and uh, these elements that are quite simple make a story they make actually a story whether it is through typography through illustration or something else it actually gives you something at the end of the day so it's not a given like artwork or picture or illustration but it's actually a set of something that you can combine like 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 lego puzzles or lego bricks or something else and that's where i see potential of nft and yeah, i went to this nft castle in prague and it was really interesting to see how they actually used nft because we can actually import nfts in educational system any art system as a sort of gamification yeah and i think that's really good What's your biggest dream as an artist? That's a really hard question. I see mostly myself as an educator and like teaching because that's something I really do from like my heart. So it's it's some somehow bringing my knowledge that I have to other people and it's actually creating new movements. I think the, we today lack movements and like diversity. We have everything is under postmodernism. I think that we need something else. One thing that I was I'm still very curious about is you mentioned that you learned about NFTs in school. Do you think that happening across the world is that a conversation happening in colleges right now we were not taught we were actually having the conversations one day we had topic about the nft so we were actually just like talking about today's world and what is happening i think this is happening in a lot of schools today i think that we are just bringing this topic more and more into the world i think that we see more nft as somehow as a way of representing art when we call nft 
art, I think it's more accurate to say art represented through NFT because like you can put anything in it, not just artworks or illustrations. So yeah. This channel is intended purely for educational purposes and does not constitute financial or tax advice. NFTs and all my crypto is green. green. I'm watching Gary V on TV. What do you mean? Green. She wear Gucci and Louis, but her favorite Celine. Green. My old school is old, but I keep that shit.